Jacob Reese was born on May 3, in 1849 in Denmark. He emigrated to the United States after his attempts in carpentry had failed. During his first years in America, Reese was living day to day off of almost no money. He knew he needed to make a turnaround. After writing for so long, Reese took up photography in order to capture images that he couldn't even put into words. Reese became one of the first photographers to incorporate flash, especially in one of his most famous works entitled How the Other Half Lives. All of the following photographs opened people's eyes to how the poor lived and how the rich were so unaware of this. Reese showcased these pictures in order to become a true muckraker and to try to create social reform. He focused on labor and tenement life. The first picture, entitled The First Board of Election in the Beach Street Industrial School, was a photo taken by Reese in 1890. The photo is ethically evaluative because it shows three girls of all different nationalities standing with each other, something that was not heard of at the time due to the prominent inherent racism. The image also uses the rule of odds by using three subjects to create more of an interest and balance in the photo. The next picture, entitled In Sleeping Quarters, Rivington Street Dump, was taken on Rivington Street in 1892. The image uses a head-on technique to capture the man and also frontal lighting to highlight his face. Once you look past this, you notice the disgusting background that he calls his makeshift home, with a pair of boots hanging from the wall as well as a picture. I believe this picture is interpretive. Nobody knows how this man got here. What is his past? How long has he been here? And how long does he plan on staying? How does he make this small area work? The next photo, entitled A Scrub and Her Bed, was taken in 1890. The photo uses a bullseye technique and head-on perspective, drawing the eye to the impoverished woman. The photo is interpretive. The viewer wonders where her bed is and then notices it is the plank. He wonders, then, whose hand appears in the corner? Is that a man in a suit? pointing at her or offering her his cigarette, the photo really highlights the gap between the rich and the poor. The final photo, entitled A Baby's Playground, was taken in 1888 in New York. It is ethically evaluative because it shows the true nature of the Industrial Revolution. It shows this poor child alone, noting how the filth she plays in from an overflowing sink is all she has to play in, and the environment is all she has to play around. The photo really captures the industrial era when young children were left alone while their parents and older siblings went to do factory work. The photo uses a bullseye perspective focusing on the child and the faucet above her head. When analyzed more, it also incorporates some perspective as vanishing. Where does the little alley that she's in lead to? All Reese's photos are seen in his works called how the Other Half Lives, a true muckraking depiction of life from an impoverished and devastated perspective that many were not aware of until they saw the photographs. His works stand out among other photographers because they are not about trying to create an aesthetically evaluative environment, but instead to create social changes and encourage awareness, which is extremely significant to have in society.